Katie. I'm gonna be back in I see a door. Leave. Right there. Go. Okay, okay. What? Okay. Leave. Thanks. Hello. Welcome to the seventh show. Of the Robin Wee show. It's quite My uh, show is called Romance and Depression. But if you can get right there. I find this a very important one. So people understand the concepts and how I think about it. So I'm going to start it off by saying everyone. If you think you are what age, you're not. You're you're 70 times amount of that. So I'm 14, but in dog years I'd be... Four, 14 times 7, I'm just going to say, I really can't work it out. Really can't, I don't get it. But anyway, um, I'm going to start with my who I like and who I don't like. Jokes. Um, There's three people... I had to pick three people. Someone asked me to, and I'm okay with doing that. But um, I'm going to do about these three people, what I like about them and what I don't like about them. So if you don't want to hear this, then go to the toilet or something and then come back, and then it should be done, I think. Just don't go to number two. Go to number one, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop with Sati. Sati. What I love about you is that you're funny, you're kind, you're sweet. If you make me laugh pretty much all the time, you're weird like me. Yeah, and that's that can come across me, but it's true, you are. Um, but I love you for that. And what I don't like about you is that you have these really weird friends, like not the group. I mean another group at school at Hillview. Yeah, you've got your friends are a little. They don't really like me, I don't think. And they always take you away from me, and I don't like that. So, that's just not what I like about you. Um, Shannon. Fenner. Um, I like that you're so cute, and you're so pretty, and you just don't think you are, and you know you are. And you're my be like, what, you're like my best friend, and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be wearing American stuff right now, because America, that was our... That was that's what we did. We just made it up, and now it's catched on. And if I what I don't like about you is sometimes I get upset because you're. No, oh, that's hard. Sometimes I don't see you as much as I'd like to. Maybe. And Jack, I like that. I've known you for quite a long time. We've had a bit of history. Doesn't even matter because I don't care because you're a really good friend of mine and we talk all the time and we get along and you know it's quite nice. What I don't like is that we don't actually talk that much, you know what I mean? We don't ever see each other or anything. So maybe work on that a little bit more. Hmm. Got a bit of a Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about chat up lines. There's some weird chat up lines and I've just been finding them all. So the first chat up line I'm going to laugh about is, do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk past again? That one made me laugh. <laughs> I'm no Fred Flintstone but I can make your bed rock. I think that's a bit grim, a bit rude. But. You must be tired because you've been running through my mind all day. Cheesy. There is something wrong with my cell phone. It doesn't have your number in it. That, if someone did that to me, I'd probably stare at them for ages and just be like, oh, what the hell? Why don't you just ask my number normally? Um, next one. Was your dad king for a day? He must have been to make a princess like you. I think that is actual cheese. A like proper, a block of cheese. I'm sorry, that's cheddar. Right. Um, next one. Can I borrow a quarter? I want to call my mum and tell her I just met the girl of my dreams. If someone said that to me, I'd probably run off and be like, that was the worst ever thing to say to a girl. Why would you want to call your mum? No, doesn't do it. Seven, 
for the like seventh one. Hi, I'm Mr. Wright. Someone said she was looking for me. I'd just be like, oh, well, I'm not looking for anyone. I'll just come here. Do to what I did. Wasn't looking for anyone. Um, I, I lost my phone number. Can I borrow yours? <sighs> like I said, just ask for my number. I'd rather you say that. The only thing I want to be, the only thing I want between a relationship is latex. It's a little bit of a rude one. If someone said that to me, I'd probably like, I wouldn't really talk to them because. I won't really say anything back because it's a bit awkward. Not only that is that that would just show me that they just wanted sex out of the relationship. I don't want anything more. Um, ten. Do you have a map? Because I keep getting lost in your eyes. Um, no, I don't have a map. Sorry. I must be lost. I thought paradise was further south. Yeah, if you just carry on going. Yeah, it's just around the corner. God was just showing off when he made you. They have like little Christian chat lines. It's so cute. God was just showing off when he made you. But he didn't make me. Parents did. So how's that work? Hi, I'm doing a survey. What's your name? What's your phone number? Are you free next Saturday? Um, My name? None of your beeswax. My number... Oh, I can't remember it. And are you free next Saturday? You know what? I think I'm busy. Nice legs. What time do they open? If someone said that, I'd probably kick them in the ghoulies. No jokes. Right in the ghoulies. Ding, ding. I'd have to. I wouldn't. I'd be really like. Oh my god, that's like really offensive. 15. Is your name Grace? Because you're amazing. Someone told me that one. I thought it was hilarious. That's a good one. And last but not least, I also got told this one. Have you got a, ra a razor and how about a date? That one's quite, you know, fruit jerks getting there, yeah. Right, now I'm going to do some, for boys that are watching the show, some facts about girls that you might want to know, just saying. Because, like, you really, you think you know everything about girls, but you don't. And these are some, I think there's six there. Really, you need to listen to these. Right, so the first one. We are just as shy as you boys are about relationships. Honestly, I'm not even joking. We are just as shy with relationships just as you are. Everyone's shy about relationships. Most girls are under the impression that guys only want pretty, skinny, hot girls. So, some girls don't actually kind of try and get involved with people they think out of their league. So, if you like a girl and they haven't been speaking to you, that's probably what they think. You don't know. That's the thing. Almost every girl has one nickname that they just have to be called. And if they don't have one, then you should make one up for them because I suppose that makes them feel special and happy. Some girls can think about their crushes for 18 hours straight. I'm not even joking. Some girls just sit there and just can't stop thinking about them. They daydream, everything. They dream about them. And it's just, it's a truth, it's a true fact. Most girls, boys don't do it with girls. Well, some boys do. Some boys do. They think about them, but not as much as girls think about their crushes. We are very self-conscious and we can't even help it. We can tr all we can do is try and hide it, but all girls are self-conscious naturally. That's just truth. You just all need you just need to tell us what we want to hear to make us feel better about ourselves. You can't really make it worse. Every girl is, and you can't say, "Oh, you're so self-conscious," because every girl is. You just need to kind of say to them that they're not ugly or they're not this um the one of the most important i think don't bother don't even try to cheat on us you think you're all oh they won't find out but girls tell other girls and girls know uh, girls know everyone basically 
some girl knows another and then that it will all come together and that girl will find out and you probably won't get a proper relationship again for a long time unless you move to the other side of the world because people don't like cheats it's true no girl's gonna go for a cheat are they now for our depression side if you're upset i suppose there's nothing you can do but you shouldn't really go around telling everyone that you're depressed because that's just like really attention seeking but if you are upset and you do need help then talk to someone because it, it does work and no one has to just sit there and actually give you feedback you just need to sit there and listen it's true i do like a lot of counseling for, like with not i have counseling other i counsel other people like there's people that are in very bad situations like younger people or older people and i just sit there and listen to them that's all they want they just want to be listened to they just want to they just want someone that's gonna listen just sit there and listen that's all they want they don't want you to go oh you should do this they don't need you to do that they just want you to listen it's the truth they just want you to listen that's that, that's all you don't need to give them the advice you just need to listen now this one wasn't really a funny Lauren Reed show it was kind of just a practical one because I don't know I'm just not myself at the moment I just wanted to chat myself out for a bit so if you have any comments right there right at the bottom um next show I have no idea what the next show is sorry I just don't I just don't. Well, 